Hello there and welcome to a video where today we'll finally be going over my CMF collection and all the different CMF series minifigures that I've collected through the years, most of which have been through opening the packets and especially the last few years. I've definitely been feeling through the bags and trying to collect a full season, but it wasn't always that way. Back when I got my first CMF, which I believe was series six, I'd just pick up the bag, the first one that I grab, it'd never be the front ones, I'd always have to go for one of the middle ones, but I'd just pick up a bag, walk away happy, not knowing what minifigure I had, which at the time, especially for a few of them early series, I probably should have felt for a few of the rarer ones. I even remember when Mr. Gold was in them, I think that was before season six, but one of the seasons had this exclusive golden minifigure that there was only a couple of worldwide and it wasn't even guaranteed to be in a box. But today we'll be taking a look at all the minifigures I've collected over 15 plus years because at some point I would like to complete the base Lego CMF figures. I do have a few licensed ones up in my display unit just back there behind me and I guess I could do another video down the road going through all the licensed ones especially if we're getting a new licensed CMF this year as we've just had Disney and I weren't fussed about getting all the Disney ones. I'd pick up a few especially in boxes now it was fun trying to figure out which ones I'd picked up, but I didn't really mind if I had the full CMF series. But at some point, I'd definitely like to revisit these series, not only complete the ones that I've got characters for, but also complete the early ones that I don't have any minifigures for and probably weren't even collecting Lego at the time. And if I was, it was most probably only Star Wars. So we will take a look series by series, series 6, all the way up to series 24. And hopefully at some point later this month, I'll be able to try and pick up some of series 25. Hopefully all of them. There is a almost foolproof way of making sure you know what characters you get. In the series 25, I have a video coming out in a few weeks time and hopefully I'll be able to do it. If not, there'll still be a video anyway. So stay tuned, make sure you hit subscribe. We're trying to hit 700 subscribers by the end of this month. So do come along for the ride and enjoy all the awesome Lego content yet to come. But let's start off by looking at series six. And as you can see, starting off with series six, this is back when there were 16 minifigures in each series, not 12 as there is currently. But you can see I did have four of the series, which is a quarter of the series, starting off with this chef over here with the very long sideburns going the whole of the face. We also have a leprechaun and you can see the accessories are not with each of the minifigures because I could have spent an extra day trying to find all the accessories. I'm not sure if I even still have all the accessories for these minifigures. So any of the accessories that are laying around, I've managed to pick up and put with them, just like the cleaver for this chef. But for the most part, they are accessory less as I just wanted to be able to get this video out and show off all my current CMF minifigures again. Hopefully one day I can pick up the rest. We've also got this sort of cowboy looking dude with the balaclava around his mouth of course you've got the ammunition sachets on his side because he did come with one or two revolvers which of course would complete the look and we've also got the minotaur here which was definitely one of my favorite from this series so i'm very happy i picked up this minotaur minotaur however you would pronounce it and I think out of these four, it's definitely my favourite though. I really like the leprechaun with his pot of gold. And as you can see, it's a similar story for season seven, which would have come out six months later as all these CMFs seem to come out every six months or so. And again, like the last series, I got four characters here. We have this tennis player. I believe I had two of, but I can only find the head for the second one. So... I'm not really sure where the other parts have gone. We also have this sort of Egyptian-like character here with this awesome helmet piece, which is a close contender for my favourite of the series. But we also have this hippie character, which came with a bunch of flowers, which was really cool because flowers weren't that common in most of the sets I was getting back in the day. And... I think my favourite of this for the guitarist, the rock guitarist over here, did come with a white electric guitar and I think that's the reason this one was my favourite from the series. But as you can see, they're definitely getting a bit more creative with the legs. We've got a load of 
shorts printed on and extra boot printing as well this one even looks like it is one of the early concepts for the dual molded legs though as you can see it's actually just white legs with the yellow strip printed around the between so it's quite interesting to see the lego minifigure develop and again series 7 16 minifigures these are the four i got now moving on to series 9 we have an extra minifigure in the lineup though as you can see this waiter here is missing his head in fact i've actually used the extra tennis player's head that i found to replace it so i've just flipped that backwards so you can see the rest of the minifigure without the head but we do have this mermaid here, we have this sort of Greek person from ancient Greece and we have a really detailed policeman. I'm very intrigued that they didn't include this hat in more of the city sets, but I guess it was nice to get it in the CMF. And then we have this Cyclops, which is definitely by far my favourite minifigure from this series because underneath the head mould, if I can take this off, you can see that the Cyclops does have a massive grin on his head. And it's actually dual molded, which they didn't really need to do. But we've even got this smirky Cyclops, which if you put the helmet on, looks like it is absolutely furious. So this is definitely my favourite minifigure from the series. And he just looks so happy with that open eye. And of course we have the butler missing his head, but it did have a really cool moustache. So... I wouldn't be surprised if I put that on the tennis player and at some point down the line lost the minifigure. But we do have 5 out of 16. I think the 16 minifigures goes on for quite a while. I'm not sure if series 24 had 16 or 12. But I believe at some point we hit the 12 minifigures. So do stay tuned to see what minifigures I have later on as I do complete more of the series as this video progresses. But series 10 is definitely an exception to the rule. As I only managed to pick up two of these minifigures, the Painter and the Skydiver. Honestly, I don't know which out of the two are my favourite, but out of the series, there were so many minifigures. And this is even the series that we got the Roman, which was a very popular character that year. But I think out of the two, I like the paint on the Painter, the expression on the Skydiver, which I actually used for my bike that was speeding in my LEGO City. So... I think I'll go for the paint art because rarely do we get that sort of expression of pain or sweat on the head. We've recently got it for one of the new CMF minifigures and you can check out that video to see what them parts can be used for. I'll leave that tagged on the end screen but 2 out of 16 again isn't bad because there are a few series that I actually miss when I go into more of a set collecting habit rather than picking up the CMFs. But both of these minifigures have their, I guess, uniqueness from them. And that's what's great about the LEGO CMF. So let's get a few more minifigures out for Season 11. So once again, Series 11 is 14 series old, which means it would have come out seven years ago, which does mean we are missing the waitress's hair. But apart from that, all the other minifigure pieces are true to how their characters were. We do have this Danish woman with a bagel and it's a nice use of the material to create the bottom half of her dress as well as this blues brother here in the suit with the saxophone definitely my favorite of the series but i really do like that saxophone piece with the black tip i think we've just seen the saxophone piece return for the dragon gift with purchase that was happening towards the end of january so it's nice to see that piece used seven years later of course we have the waitress which did come with a plate and a glass i think it was an ice cream similar to the but love two series ago but the mountain climber is also decked out in his red and black climbing gear which could also pass for a high car or even a skydiver if you add a backpack to his back and is a nice diverse minifigure that came with some climbing rope and a pickaxe. So again, a great series 11, 4 out of 16. That's a quarter of the minifigures already gone. But this is where we sort of take a break. And I think the next minifigures I collect are from series 18. So let's 
jump ahead seven series almost four years to take a look at the next lot of minifigures for series 18 there were a bunch of really cool minifigures as lego were celebrating a milestone i can't remember now what they were celebrating i think it was the 10th year of cmf minifigures but feel free to correct me down in the comments actually i think the 10 years came later as we're only on series 18 this would have been the ninth year it must have been another milestone they did come with some really cool orange base plates which i currently have boxed up away in storage as i just wanted to display them all on black plates this is the only series of my knowledge that had the different colored plates at least for lego cmf as we've seen a few different ones for disney and other themes such as the lego movie with the unikitty line that i believe had exclusive plates but as you can see this is the year I got into feeling the bags and trying to find specific minifigures. I think the unicorn must have just been a random one where I didn't fancy any of the other minifigures, which looking back at it now, I definitely would have wanted the cactus guy. In fact, I've just realized there is one minifigure I am missing out still on my desk, and that is the cat here. So we'll put the cat to the left of the other two. The two bricks are definitely my favorite. I don't think I could pick one between the two. I just really like the brick bodies. We get another one, two series down the line. And that one is celebrating 10 years of the CMF line. We've got a few in the Build a Minifigure wall. In fact, coming soon to the BAM wall, we're getting a brand new coloured. I think it's like a pinky brick character. So I'll definitely have to visit a Lego store sometime soon. And the cat figure is really cool. It's a cat costume. And it's got some really nice dual molded arms, which must be one of the first times we've seen that in Lego. And the unicorn does have a towel piece behind it and also makes use of the so-called unicorn horn on top, which would be lovely to get a nice shot of it in focus. But of course, can't be a unicorn without the unicorn horn. And on to series 19, before we get to the 10 years of LEGO CMF, we have this panda costume and rugby player. And I definitely remember feeling for Johnny Thunder's hat piece in the series, as there was a remake of Johnny Thunder in the series. And just not being able to find it, CMS was still so very popular now. But it's like when I go in my local store, there's still so many of the Marvel boxes left because... So many people aren't searching for the ones they want and the ones that do just leave torn boxes and just make it not a nice experience for anyone else. So hopefully Lego are able to improve the system and if including a QR on the bottom of the box is what they're going to do from here on out for the few of us that want to know what minifigure we're getting. I think that's a reasonable enough thing to do for collectors as anyone that is going to want a full series otherwise would have to buy it through another market so hopefully we can get a few ways to find out what minifigures we're getting this series series 19 i really like the box up but the panda is just such a unique figure not really based off anything in particular came with a rainbow came with a heart and overall is just a really cool minifigure it does of course come with some face printing underneath the face is a bit mushed together to get it within the eyes of the panda and the rugby player actually has quite a funny beaten up other side because of course rugby is a gentleman's sport but that doesn't mean it doesn't get rough. And as I said for 10 years of the CMF Lego come out with a somewhat special line I'm not quite sure how this would compare to the most recent one celebrating 25 CMF lines but it did come with an exclusive printed 10 tile for this brick minifigure and I think this was around the time that the Power Rangers movie went out so me a few friends and my brother went to see that and that meant I had to pick up this awesome Power Rangers resembling minifigure that does have some arm printing and actually it seems to have some dual molded legs which again it's quite early on in lego's development for this this was probably about three years ago so it's very nice to see him using it in the cmfs and now dual molded legs arm printing are sort of guaranteed on most of the series but here this was one of the only minifigures in this series to include it now we get to series 21 which had a whole bunch of easily identifiable pieces but 
By this point, the world was dealing with enough problems, certain stores were shutting, and it just wasn't as easy to find all of the minifigures. So, all of the easy to find pieces that if you had any of the bags you could identify weren't that easy to identify as most of these, if not all five of these minifigures were ordered online. So that meant I had no idea and couldn't really tell which minifigures I was getting. There was a female Egyptian that would have paired nicely with my male one from earlier and there was even an alien prisoner that would have paired nice with this space police officer but... These are the five I ended up with. A few duplicates, especially where the swimmer and singer are concerned. But I really do like the beekeeper, especially because, again, not too long after this, we got WandaVision on Disney+. And there is a beekeeper in a scene. I might end up even recreating that at some point because it's not really important. But the beekeeper minifigure is rare enough for it to be an awesome display set. Out of this series, my favourite is the Pug, which has actually been recoloured into a light bluish colour and released in the Builder minifigure wall, though I really like the skirt piece, dress piece, just material out the back of the singer. And again, the Beekeeper is a great minifigure to get. I hope we get a few more minifigures like that that are just everyday outfits put into a CMF. Of course, the Surfer has some really cool shorts which are dual moulded, much like the policeman's legs and maybe even the singer's legs. But this policeman is really cool and includes a nice moulded chest piece that he can clip his weapon and handcuffs to on the back. So another great series. This is series 21, so we're getting a bit more up to date. And for series 22, we're going to have to take a wider angle to view all of these lovely minifigures. We'll start off at this end with the aliens. The purple torso for my alien is actually on my purple classic spaceman, which I've custom built based off the one that was released in the designer's exclusive set. And that alien on the left with the arm printing is just so detailed and is a unique alien that doesn't use any special molded piece, but still looks really cool. Now, there was only three minifigures I didn't pick up from this series and they were the Acorn Kid, the Chili Pepper costume and the Raccoon costume which all had easily identifiable pieces so people were able to snag them up first I guess than these other ones. This robot is really cool and I've actually given him a blue arm to represent the one from Kenobi in my Star Wars display. The adventurer here, the sort of animal bird watcher i guess is really cool because of that printed watch on the arm much like the new cedric diggory figure dual molded legs and also has a mole on the right side of her face which is a cool detail that lego have started adding around this phase and also comes with this toucan which is sat on top of the husky from this colder minifigure on the right he's a bit chilly so he's wrapped up uses a few nice pieces has a i guess it looks like a blue acorn hat actually from this point of view which i've never noticed before again similar printed pattern to the cat costume we got a few series ago just switch up the colors and then we have the little girl with the pony which has actually completely gone missing i can't find the legs body or head so I've definitely given it a custom hair piece and just hidden it amongst one of my builds somewhere. Hopefully I can find that soon because as I say, there is only three minifigures missing from this entire series. So this will be one of the first that I try to complete. But we've also got this guitar player here or banjo player. Sorry if I offended any musicians out there and he looks really cool. He definitely looks like he could fit in well with a medieval set which... We do get a minifigure a few seasons along that also goes well. And we have this sort of cyclist here who comes with this awesome bike with the three wheels. And it just looks really cool. And he can actually hold it with his hands. You can see his hands are over both of the wheels. So it's great to get a minifigure that's just a bit different to the others. And of course... The skater as well, we normally get a medal of every few series, so we have an Olympic skater or a Winter Olympic skater even, and that person does come with 
not only two skates but you can see a nice costume with some glitter and sparkle on the side of their face so it's a great series and i'm happy that i was able to pick up most of them it's just a shame i couldn't find the other three so i have to relocate this minifigure that goes with the pony and purchase the other three probably on bricklink and that will be a video in itself and finally for series 23 we can have a look at the whole complete hold on it's not quite complete I've managed to lose the wolf in setting up for this video I've searched everywhere and managed to lose the wolf minifigure but rest assured I do have it in my collection somewhere I'll have to try and find it by the next update perhaps when I complete one of the earlier series I'll have to try and include the wolf just to show you that I do indeed have it but this is the first complete CMF I have got. Series 23 was only two series ago and I actually have the complete series 24 as well. So as you can see it's very Christmassy themed. We have a snowman, we then have a little fairy, we have a reindeer, we also have an elf, a nutcracker and a turkey which I guess isn't too Christmassy themed but it's more of a Thanksgiving one. So Half of this series were Christmassy and the other was sort of fairy tale. I guess we do have the sailor and popcorn which that popcorn headpiece is really cool with the popcorn hair and the actual popcorn bucket around the torso. The sailor also came with a cool boat piece which was very interesting and then we got a kid dressed up as a knight. A dragon, a robot, and also the wolf, which are very fairy tale themed. But out of all of them, I really do like the robot because it reminds me of a robot we got earlier on in the CMF line. But I think my favourite has to be the popcorn kid. And just to give a closer look at all of these minifigures, you can see quite a few of them have arm printing and whilst there's not too many dual molded legs in fact i think the nutcracker should have some black boots and of course the turkey has the red boots on the brown legs no one else really had any leg printing at all except for the odd hooves and i guess there's a few sprinkles on the fairy but it's nice to see arm printing becoming a bit more included in the cmf line and to almost wrap up this video we can take a look at the complete, and this time it's actually complete, Series 24 CMF line from LEGO. Honestly, there is a lot of bias when I say this, but I do think that this is the best CMF line that LEGO have produced. And I think you can probably guess my favourite minifigure of the series. This brown spaceman is amazing, and I think it's actually mostly for the baby Benny we get with it now we are rumored to get another pink baby with the new space cmf that's coming out in a few months now so i'll definitely have to try and pick that one up hopefully we can still tell the difference between them in their boxes but this is definitely a lot different to series six much much more different than series one and lego have come such a long way with all the dual molded arms arm printing unique pieces for it i mean just look at this third minifigure with a giant dress piece on the bottom. It looks like something you used to see in the creator boxes where you just have the big pieces for the brick built minifigures. But we even get a rocking horse, a baby spaceman, a koala, which both of them are just adorable builds. And this awesome looking intergalactic character of sorts with the menacing eyes. We then get a nice knight here with a bow and arrow so i guess they're actually an archer and this raven this farmer has a carrot top again a brand new piece we get a paper boy with the sleeve detail printed on a lovely t-rex helmet dude which that is actually the t-rex head that i used for my captain rex custom minifigure and an ogre of sorts or perhaps even an orc which goes with so many different things and can perhaps be used to combat the archer that we saw earlier so a lot of these minifigures do sort of line up we've got the two space minifigures of course the orc and the archer we get the dinosaur and 
okay, maybe not all of them go with someone, but I think this is an amazing series. Definitely my favourite up to now. I don't know if series 25 has quite won me over this one yet, though there are some awesome minifigures in that. And again, if you want to check out my video with the different characters you can make license and otherwise from, the new series 25 and if you want me to make a video based on the older series of different licensed characters you can make using these minifigure parts do let me know but for now let's take a look at all my minifigures in one shot and as you can see these are all my cmf minifigures from throughout the years i mean we started off with series 6 down here we're now at series 25 which I only have one minifigure for at the minute, but as you can see, I am planning on trying to collect a few more and have the third CMF or the Lego CMF on the trot completed, which would be very nice to so stay tuned, especially in a few weeks time when I do try and pick up the other minifigures from this series. Hopefully we don't get any duplicates. I've included my Spaceman line here because you can see the purple torso that isn't on the Spaceman from earlier and also the brown astronaut which does technically belong just at the back but it is a load of minifigures and they might have started off about $2.99 each the most recent ones are now $3.50 so that is a lot of money spent into these figures and that is before we get on to all of the duplicates that I have collected. You can see there are a bunch of the same minifigures here. These aren't all of my duplicates. I have a few more pandas, but you can just switch around the heads and they suddenly become brand new minifigures. So do please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you can watch as I try and collect all of series 25 and eventually 26, 27, 28. Hopefully I can get all of the CMFs are going forward and also complete a few more of these older series because once we go back before series 26, it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of money. So hopefully one day I can look down upon my complete CMF collection and hopefully it's not too far in the future. Otherwise, that's a load more CMFs we will have to collect. But thank you so much for watching this video. Do forgive the shaky hand. But I'm sure if you've made it this far, you really don't mind. And subscribe so you can help us hit 700 subs by the end of the month. And as always, may the bricks be with you.